Thank you for joining us again today, Friday, the end of the week, a time to relax, spend time with your family, enjoy the presence of the Lord. We have been talking about healing and the fact that it's spiritual, that you want your spirit and your soul in unity. The thing is, whatever you think about draws a picture in your imagination. And if you're looking at healing strictly physical, then you will see your body or you will have your body with feelings of sickness or it might look sick or feel sick. What happens then as you see it that way, you now have that inner image, that picture of yourself sick, waiting, waiting and waiting for some physical manifestation of healing in your body. But God told us that whatever you imagine, you will have. Remember the Tower of Babel? God said, whatever they imagine, they will be able to do. They weren't born again. They didn't have the Spirit of God in them. You have to see yourself healed. In Romans 4, 17, it says, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God. So you have to believe. You have to see it. Remember, God put stars and sand and told Abraham to meditate on that. To quicken the dead, God calls those things that be not as though they are. The moment Jesus rose from the dead, God called you healed. And now you must call yourself healed because that healing power is in the word of God that's in your spirit. And as you renew your mind, knowing that by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed, see yourself healed, see yourself whole. Don't look from the outside. It's going to flow from the inside and call those things that be not as though they are. Renew your mind and get a picture of yourself walking in prosperity and health all the days of your life. Thank you.